Hello, good afternoon and welcome back to another weekly vlog. You're probably wondering what's up with the walls behind me. If you've been watching my videos, we painted the wall. There was a patch on the wall that we've had for the longest time and we finally decided to go for it. It's so pretty. I'll have to show it to you guys more. Uh, we still have it taped off because we wanna make sure we've got everything touched up where it needs touched up and we still have to do this wall on this side so we have enough paint left. We just wanted to make sure we had enough paint to do two coats. Really wanna go minimal with decor and things hanging on the walls. I don't want a whole bunch of stuff on the walls. Uh, just, you know, a few little details here and there, but I'll show you around in a little bit because I have a lot of organizing and cleaning to still do today. We have a Sephora haul. I took two of these already and these are the Hum Gummies with hair benefits and I'm really wanting to give it a shot. Perfect for Valentine's Day. It tastes like strawberries. But yeah, I'm excited to just stick this by my coffee and take a couple every day and see if I can truthfully try to get my hair to grow in thicker and healthier. I think having the extensions out will be a big help. Just getting it back to a place that I like it. Another thing for the hair journey is this. I got the JVN pre-wash scalp oil. So this is a oil that you put on your hair before you wash. Massage into scalp, disperse through the ends for 15 minutes and then wash for shinier looking hair and strands. I'm just gonna do a little drop on my hand here so I can smell it and feel the texture. Mmm, it does smell good. I feel like I'm a little yellow. So I got the Airbrush Flawless Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury and I've heard just such good things about all her products and I've never used Charlotte Tilbury stuff so maybe this will be like a new adventure into using her products. I think it's gonna be so pretty to have on my vanity. This is the foundation that I have on right now and I think it looks pretty good. We'll see after wearing that for some time. I just re-upped on some NARS Radiant Creamy. This is my favorite concealer and I just did go a little bit lighter so this is going to be a little bit more brightening. The color is Madeline 2.3. It's just the best. It really is. I got a Sephora brow pencil. It is what I have on right now. Just a little inexpensive retractable. I feel like I just bust through these so quickly. Let's see how long this thing lasts and it is what I've used. I do like the color. I think it's a good mix of warm and cool brown. Does it look a little crooked? I did my makeup sitting here in front of the window. I did shave the tails of my brow off because that's what all the cool kids are doing now. Well, there's a lot of brow trends going on right now and I wanted to do a dedicated video about brow trends and makeup trends in general. So I, if I have time this week or next week, I'm gonna try to do that video, but there's so many things going around right now about brows and there's even on TikTok like a graph that shows you what your brows would look like in various, you know, like if you click it, it's like this is the straight brow and I did the thing and I loved the way it looked so I immediately took a razor to it and shaved them and I am over trying to grow my brows out. I just don't think they'll ever grow in. I mean, now that I'm using these hair gummies maybe i'll start seeing some brow growth as well because it's not like these just target just your hair it'll target hair all over your body maybe it'll help with the brows but i went back to giving this a shave no more trying to make them look bushy i had fun with it i look back at some of it and i'm like oh yeah that did look good and then i look back at some of it and i hate it so much trying to do like the brow stroke with all the, it was just exhausting. This is so quick. Like shaving my brow off, all I have to do, this line is already like how it needs to be. So when I pencil in my brow, all I have to do is this and connect it and then create a quick whip of a tail. It's so fast. Um, the next thing that I got is some hand lotion and I haven't tried this yet, so let's put some on. I just wanted some hand lotion to keep next to the bed. It's got the coconut one in the small little bottle and I think these are like five bucks. Oh God, it smells like going to the pool in the summertime. I love that. Finally, I got some samples and I got decent sized samples. I don't know how I got so many. How did this work? I don't know, but I got <laughs> anything that was hair involved because of this hair journey I'm on. So I got three deluxe sized products for hair. The first one is the JVN hair mask. 
And I do think that most of these products are for people who have like more textured hair, wavier hair, but that's okay because my hair is kind of in the middle. Like when it dries naturally, it dries a little wavy. So gosh, I love this kind of packaging where it's like almost like a vintage toothpaste tube. I don't know why I love this packaging so much. It's, it's a weird obsession I have once a week apply instead of conditioner. So I'll just keep this in the shower then. And then this one, I opened the box and this is what made the whole box smell really good. The Amica Multitask Repair Treatment. I'm gonna do all of this this week. And then we have the Mizani Miracle Cream. So this is a leave-in conditioner that I can also try this week. All of these I can try because they're all different. They all have different functions. Oh, I like that a lot. That is a good smell. These all smell so good. Okay, anyway, and then the other two things I got for samples is the Huda Faux Filter Luminous Matte Foundation. I'm excited to give it a shot. I also have never really tried anything by Huda before, so I would be into giving it a try. And then I've got the Makeup Forever self setting concealer the ultra hd i like the ultra hd foundation i love makeup forever's products i've used quite a few and purchased quite a few that's a nice size sample new concealer to try with the new foundation i'll do that sometime this week we are still as you can see doing some painting we have the trim tape still up again i just love the way the trim looks with the windows and we're gonna put our curtains back up. I'm also going to really simplify what's going on here. We're getting a new light fixture. Look at these dried mums and eucalyptus in this dried baby's breath against the wall and like this golden hue of the light. Oh, be still my heart, it's gorgeous. And then we installed, or we, my husband, <laughs> the electrician installed this light and we were going for an industrial vibe and the lights kind of dangle down. These are adjustable. We can lift them up and down. I want to go antiquing for a vintage pulley, like one of those wheels that almost, I think, would be used for a ship or a boat. We're going to dangle it in the corner and use that to wrap the ropes around. But these have the dimmer on them that you turn up and down. That is our, our update on our house. I can't wait till everything behind me is going to be black and then it'll look so cool and the house just looks amazing and so much has happened i feel like <laughs> but it's really coming together looks so good i'm gonna go open up our hello fresh and see what we're gonna have to eat oh cool my lush order is on the way i love this so <laughs> i placed an order for lush for um valentine's day gifts for my husband and then i got myself of course something but i got him a couple of little things from uh lush because i can't leave with the dogs being here not knowing when they're going to be picked up so this is great i love that you can order doordash sally's beauty supply so my bleach and toner came through <laughs> doordash and we pay for the doordash like premium so we don't have to pay the delivery fees because we use it so much long story short if you want to try hellofresh they give me all of these like free box codes and like referral stuff so if you guys want to try it you can use my code and like get either a free box or a lot of money off of a box i mean everybody gets these when you sign up for hellofresh you have these referrals if you want to try it give it a try we really do like it i would say hellofresh is our favorite one and and the food is delicious. So this is this week's recipes. We have brown sugar bourbon, pork chops with apple, so apple pan sauce, mashed potatoes and Brussels sprouts. That to me sounds so good. I kind of want to have that tonight. So this week's burger is the old school deli burger with tangy mayo, creamy coleslaw and crispy fried onions. And then, ooh, we are going to do a tomato spaghetti with chicken and toasted almonds. I do pick the recipes, but I forget what I've picked. So <laughs> that is what we have. That's it for right now. I don't know what else I have, but I definitely have, oh, my Lush order. <laughs> my Lush order is coming. I'm going to show it to you guys. Tomorrow, we are going to be getting ready together for Valentine's Day. It's going to be a fun outfit to get ready with me kind of day and then I'm just gonna do a little two-day vlog with you guys because the rest of the week I think I'm going to be doing some projects for Aaron or I need to do a couple of TikTok-y, Instagram-y things because I've been MIA. I don't know why I'm talking this through with you. <laughs> Probably not information you need to know but just kind of letting you know what my week is gonna be like I guess but that's it for now. 
That is really cool. Oh my God. This is toffee apple and soft floral heart, it says. Rose petal, a perfect little Valentine's thing. And why do I have a feeling that he might end up getting me the exact same thing? Cup of coffee, face and body mask. I believe you do this in the shower. Smooth mask all of your skin, leave on for 15 minutes and rinse off with warm water, massaging as you go. So this will be perfect. So this is something that he can use in the shower. It's got this like coffee ground look to it. I just thought that seemed kind of like something that, you know, a guy might like. And then this is for me, the Mask of Magnanimity. It's a power mask. snowy ground. I'm so excited. <laughs> it was really nice to wake up to see snow everywhere, even though it's melting, which is probably better for all of us for plans tonight, but it is pretty to look at. <laughs> it's gorgeous. I'm going to do my mask. I did my hair mask. It's in right now, letting it marinate and it feels really good and it smells really good. And then I'm going to use another one of those masks in the shower. So <laughs> really thick. You guys come into focus. This straight up looks like a baby threw up on my face. But look how nice and blue my eyes look with my dark under eye bags. They've been really bad. I've been starting to think that I'm worried my under eye bags come from when I'm using my lash extensions that I wash. I wash around my eyes really carefully with a scrubby the face halos and that's what I've been using under my eye to clean the under eye area because I can't get too much soap under there because I don't want to get soap near my lashes. And I'm starting to worry that it's not getting properly cleaned or it's being cleaned with something too harsh. Am I getting dark circles under my eyes like this bad either because I'm getting old and it's genetics or is it because I'm not able to give it proper care that it needs? It's probably a little bit of both. Anyway, my husband last night went to Lush came home with a lush bag and said I went and got some things for Valentine's Day don't look but I will say I'm gonna take a shower and I stopped at lush and I got some new body wash and I was like of course you did I just need to make any holiday lush is off limits because he goes every holiday little Givenchy lip treatment because it's a special day for special stuff so yeah I'm gonna um finish my coffee here. I was going to show you guys the skincare fridge in a little bit. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, I'll do that right now. I had a shelf and I can't find it. It's definitely something that's packed away in the move from the store. I still have all of my store stuff in the garage. So um, I hope I find it when I unpack the garage eventually, but everything's nice and cold. I actually wanted to do these as well. And I was saying in the video when I was packing this that all of these little things usually smell like garbage because they've been in my fridge they smell like onions and so it's so nice to have them in something that is dedicated to your face and won't stink so it's not going to stink them up. I'm going to do the pink one. I really want to focus it on these puffy under eye bags. beauty queen. I am glammed up and ready. <laughs> this is my Valentine's look. I actually filmed a little TikTok mini reel getting ready. 
so if you follow me on Instagram and TikTok, go take a look at that. I am in love with the color of my hair right now. I feel like it's the most perfect icy blonde. I can't believe I did this by myself and my hair is so healthy. I'm not saying that you guys should do that, but I have salon chair anxiety because I have issues with being confined to a space and not being able to leave and that would be a huge panic attack for me. Building up to it would be a big deal. Driving to go to it would be a big deal. Ah, it's just a whole thing. I'm hoping that like maybe one day if I ever want to do like real extensions, real professional quality hair extensions, that I can find somebody that will come here and do it in my home because I feel like that's the only place where I may not have a panic attack, but like this is a new level. <laughs> my anxiety, because I have stripped back my alcohol as the crutch for what gets me through a lot of anxiety, I have been more exposed to my issues with like panic attacks and a lot of things are like kind of resurfacing that I had issues with when I was a child. So I've kind of been going through it and I definitely, I said it before, but I definitely need to go back to a counselor and just talk it through and try to figure out how to manage it better because right now I don't think that I'm managing it that great. I think I'm just coping and dealing. I'm doing a great job still continuing to not have alcohol anymore as a crutch as hard as it is. It, I think I'm a year and four months now sober and yeah I still haven't done a sobriety video. I did the one that I made unlisted. I should go back and watch it and then bring you guys a sobriety video update but it's been great. It's the best decision I've ever made. Wow the sun's really coming and going so if I'm going in and out it's because the sun is doing some fun things right now. <laughs> um, yeah, long story short, I don't want to talk too much about it, but I will bring you guys a sobriety update. I honestly don't think it would be fair to give you guys a sobriety update until I have started a little bit of like council support because a lot of people go to AA when they're trying to be sober. I didn't have, and this is where I have an issue like talking about it because I don't want to downplay anybody else's um, tools that they use. I just didn't need to go to AA. I kind of wish I did because I would have gotten such a support group and the tools to like keep in my mind. I think it would have been useful but I have um, like classroom panic attacks. Like I get, I get really panicked when I'm in groups. <sighs> I have no problem stopping something. When I want to stop something I just stop doing it and that's one of the things that I've been finding that I've learned about myself in quitting smoking, quitting drinking. I quit sugar in January. It was a breeze and I'm really grateful that I'm able to just like stop doing things whenever I lose interest or just feel like it's not serving me or, or good for me anymore. Yeah all I need to do is like make myself start working out. For some reason there's a mental block but uh yeah I really really realize how much going and doing anything um, social, I had drinks and it helped. And it sucks that I don't have that because now I don't have the social lubricant to help me <laughs> go do all the things. But I'm glad that I'm learning to, see that's where I'm, I'm lying. I'm not learning how to do it on my own. That's where the problem is. So I don't wanna have to take pharmaceuticals and I don't wanna have to drink alcohol so I need to figure something out but <laughs> I wanted to show you the makeup that I have on so I am wearing the Charlotte Tilbury foundation and I really like this a lot so far this is day two of wearing it I actually have my tan stuff on so I feel like I'm going to match this better I was a little bit yellow yesterday because my natural skin tone is like see-through blue <laughs> and pink and uh, I, when I wear this, I like to be more of this warmer, more of a yellowy undertone kind of color. So this is perfect. This is the four neutral, which is still really light, but I have the Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer Liquid underneath it because I wanted a little bit of a healthy glow under my skin, especially after doing my mask. And I think I've accomplished that. I'll show you guys in like not so intense lighting here in a minute. KVD Finishing Powder. Uh, in light and I've been really liking this to just do my t-zone setting. I still use a translucent 
loose powder under my eyes to set my under eye area but I use this as like a finisher kind of all over except for areas where I want that extra glow which is usually like this area you know like not my t-zone complex culture I've I've not real I don't know much about this brand but the packaging of it is really really nice and this was like a beauty subscription thing but I wanted a really pink cheek because I wanted to have like Valentine's makeup so I went with this one this like really bright pink and I feel like I could use a little bit more honestly. I think I've set my face and now I don't have any on. And then I went with the good old fashioned tartlet in bloom just because it looks like a rose petal, flowers, valentines, kind of went. And then the Gwen Stefani Give brand lipstick and original recipe on my lip. I really went back and forth about whether or not I wanted to do a red lip because I felt like it was just so literal. This is so obvious that you would choose a red lip for Valentine's Day, but it went so well with the outfit and I really like it with the hair. My hair, I have so many products in it. I did all the masks, I did all the sprays, I did all the conditioning treatments. So this was a whole journey. I just gave it a blowout, so I just used a big hair roller to just roll it out. So hopefully my hair will like really grow in nice, but that, that all those treatments made my hair feel so soft and healthy i actually don't i gave it a little trim so i don't feel like i have really any split ends so it's pretty shocking that my hair is in the condition that it is considering i've had tape and extensions in it for three years <laughs> something like that um with very little breaks in between that's crazy i have my mark jacobs tote i'm going to show you guys the outfit and then we're going to go i'm going to order a smoothie and we're gonna hit the road. This is the outfit. I'll show you a photo of the inspiration. I really like the idea of incorporating black and I have these black kind of leathery looking pants that aren't leather pants that would be able to tuck into these boots and I can't find them. I really wanted to wear those, but I cannot find them. So I've got this kind of pencil skirt on instead, which I do like, but I just thought the pants looked really good in the outfit photo inspiration and yeah i'm really bummed i don't know where they are i might i might before we go still try to find them and pop them on see <laughs> i changed this is so much cuter i don't know if it's because i have it in my head that this is a cuter outfit with leggings over the skirt but i felt like the skirt was too formal looking like i look like i was going to work this is a little bit more casual and i think it's really cute i'm so sorry i'm having to show you my outfit through a dog gate a monstera plant and two mirrors i put on my shiny boots instead of the shiny pants because i couldn't find them and i just have on these stirrup pants these are like ribbed kind of h m thicker stirrup pants i like this too because it's it's, it's you know there's snow on the ground it's kind of cold so i'll be really warm and cozy she's ready to go to a valentine early bird special <laughs> four o'clock valentine's dinner who does that but us but you know what i'll do anything for a sunset let's go get our smoothie i'm starved i don't think anybody's gonna care I'm totally listening to the gin blossoms. <laughs> I haven't listened to the, I don't think I ever listened to the gin blossoms except for when they came on the radio. It's not like I had their album or anything, but for some reason I just had this nostalgic need to listen to Hey Jealousy and gin blossoms in general. They have some real bangers. <laughs> like my Darth Vader glasses, these totally look like if Darth Vader's helmet was removed and these were just the glasses, Look, I am your father. Anyway, the smoothie is really good. I still think the apple crisp one is my favorite and the pumpkin. This is called red velvet. It does taste like chocolate and when you eat it, you get these little bites of what tastes like maybe fig or apricot, which is a nice little sweet touch. I don't know what the what it is, but you can definitely taste beets. It tastes like dirt a little bit. <laughs> which I like because I like to know that I'm getting the nutrients. So I don't mind if I taste beets, but it's there. Like my first sip was like, that's beets. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. So I was thinking about getting 
some chocolate, a coffee mug, and look around for some other little things for my husband. Um, I should bring my smoothie. I was also thinking of getting like stuff that adults would use. I'm a little late. <laughs> I'm not gonna like sit here and do a haul in my car of what I got my husband for Valentine's Day, but I did just wanna show you. So I thought the whole aisle was empty and that I was out of luck. And then there was a whole second section of Valentine's stuff that was still available and discounted. What are the odds that the only thing that was left in that one aisle that nobody wanted was something that he would absolutely love. He loves white chocolate and he loves to golf. So <laughs> how perfect are these golf ball chocolates. He's going to flip when he sees them. Then I just got a bunch of little like, you know, his favorite candies like Mike and Ike's and stuff like that. And I wanted to get him a new coffee mug. You guys can't really see. Look at this. It's like ombre in a cool tan and green kind of look. I just think he would really like that. So I thought I could put the golf balls inside of here and then just put everything in a little bag. So yeah. Success at Target for Valentine's. We don't really do big Valentine's. So I feel like between the body wash, the stuff for his face, the candy and the coffee mug and like a few other little things, we're good. Mm, I got a box of chocolates. These are heavy. <laughs> These chocolates. Fancy chocolate. Yeah. Let's see what this is. <laughs> wow. Is it neat? Yeah. Tom Ford Shimmering Bonnie Oil in Soleil, which is a really good fragrance by Tom Ford. A little shimmer. You like? I love. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Happy Valentine's. I thought you could sparkle a little. Oh, thank you. I'm going to sparkle a lot. That's going to be, oh. It smells good. Oh, it smells so good. I love it. Thank you so much. So nice. such a lovely valentine's day i hope you guys did too that was so great i had the macadamia encrusted halibut uh with like a burr blanc on it we also did do desserts so my no sugar february is kind of getting a little bit interrupted <laughs> by valentine's day with a box of chocolates and then we had the chocolate lava brownie that we split with the most delicious locally made ice cream it was to die. And then we ended up getting the carrot cake to go because we were like, let's get two desserts. We'll split this one and then we'll take the other one back to the house and eat it there when we are in the mood. And then we totally had it last night. It was the most delicious carrot cake 
my husband painted the other side of the room and it looks so good we have the second coat on and how good does the molding look against this color i'm just uh, it's so dreamy my house is a mess <laughs> but uh we have things that are off the wall now that have no home so i'm gonna have to find a place for everything so that it's not like this because we ran out of paint we barely barely were able to do two coats on this entire house in this part of the house the living room and the dining room almost with one gallon which is just unbelievable but i mean the house it was already white so it was easy to do easy to cover easy to get two coats on here but this you can see probably through the camera there's some patches where we need just a little bit to do a second coat and ferrum and ball isn't cheap we're really not wanting to have to buy another gallon just to do this one spot so we were actually thinking of either asking them if they would consider doing a half gallon if they offer that or just ordering six of these because i think that would be enough this is the sample that costs eight bucks why isn't it focusing on this look how good plants look against that paint color I did that's my favorite part and I think what sold me on it was that the way green looks against this color is so dreamy and the way the molding pops now with it oh it's just so pretty I know it black isn't for everyone but I'm living for this color it's just so stunning yeah but I was able to take all the tape off the top over here because the side is done looks like we've got a little spot we're gonna paint this i'm a sucker for this strip right here why does why does that give me butterflies uh we're going to move things around the mirror that usually is hanging behind me here is gonna go over here now and because i feel like this room could use a mirror and i didn't love that when you looked in this that what you saw is another mirror artwork that we have is gonna look really nice right here under the plant. And then when I do my outfit photos, <laughs> it's art. So that'll be cool. Anyway, that's all I've got for this week, you guys. I do have uh, quite a few things that I've ordered recently. So I would love to do a H&M little try on with you guys sometime next week. And I won something off of an eBay auction and it is cool. So stay tuned for that when that comes. I actually have like some exciting content coming up. I have like four different ideas happening. I just am waiting for things to get here. So stay tuned for all the excitement. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Hope you had a good one and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.